Hello and welcome to today's live size reduction demonstration utilizing our Carruthers DuraCut 2D dicing system for precise two-dimensional cuts. I'm Brian Vankerm and I serve as the Vice President of Sales here at Marlin. Our goal today is to help you better understand the benefits of using the most hygienic and innovative dicer on the market. We'll get into the details of our tool-free disassembly, icon-based user-friendly HMI, flexible design, and how you achieve precision cuts of the highest quality. With that, I'd like to introduce you to your host and our resident expert for all of your dicing, slicing, shredding, and filling needs, Bill Williams. Thanks for that introduction, Brian. My name's Bill Williams. I'm the product line sales manager for the Marlin uh, size reduction line. Today, I'm going to go through the DuraCut 6000 two-dimensional dicer that we have here in front of me. Let's start here with the HMI. You'll see that it's a very uh, large HMI. Uh, it is an icon-based HMI, very user-friendly, very intuitive. As we look through the machine, you will notice that all of the surfaces are sloped and there are no flat areas for uh, water to be collected uh, or to pool. As we go into the interior of the machine, you will also notice that this surface is sloped for water runoff and this surface as well is sloped for water runoff as well. The front panel that I just uh, opened does not touch the floor and it does not come off of the machine as well as the uh, this top enclosure as well stays on the machine. Then we go into the discharge area of the machine where we have our gang knife cartridge and our spiral blade. So this is a two dimensional cutting machine. So we have a blade that is cutting across machine direction, which you see right here. And then we have the circular gang knife cartridge, which is a set of uh, 14 inch diameter circular blades that can be spaced to whatever you want them to be, four millimeters out to four inches if you want. Today we're cutting with a one inch space on that gang knife cartridge. Again, we have a, uh, the first dimension is cut here, then it uh, drives into the circular blade, and then the dice falls down through this uh, this drop chute here. Here we have the uh, VFD driven uh, upper and lower belt. These belts are uh, sealed polyurethane with a Kevlar core, so they're very strong. They're also positively driven on the VFD motors, um, so we have uh, very little slippage on the uh, belt and since they're not under tension they're not going to stress crack over time and create bacteria harborage. If you notice on the HMI the doors that I just had or the covers I should say that I just had eliminated have uh, turned red that tells me that the machine is in a stopped mode and I cannot operate the machine until I reset. So I've just reset the machine. It's ready for operation. Let's walk around to the back side of the machine. So the bed plates that support the upper and the lower belts, those are stored right here uh, during sanitation so that uh, you can wash on both sides and get a good sanitary clean on those bed plates. Uh, on this surface of the electrical enclosure, uh, you can see that there is a slope here as well. Here we have our uh, single cabinet electrical enclosure. We have our high and our low electrical uh, power in this, in this enclosure. This is a dual gasketed uh, enclosure. Here's your primary. And here's your, or excuse me, here's the primary, and here's the, uh, the main uh, gasket. So we have a dual gasketed, uh, patent, uh, patented electrical enclosure. Again, as we walk through the back side of the machine, this is uh, for the belt hanger. 
So the, the upper and the lower belts will hang here and you can high pressure wash uh, those belts right here on the machine. Here we have the, uh, this is a spiral motor. This is a two horsepower stainless motor. And we have a uh, stainless gearbox back here as well. Let me move this out of the way. Okay. This machine operates on uh, compressed air as well. That's what raises and lowers that upper conveyor. So we can uh, adjust that upper conveyor pressure for soft product, for example, uh, to where we're just barely touching that, that product. Or we can push down with 85 pounds of pressure on top of, of the product as well and everything in between. Again, we see the, um, we see how we have managed the cables back here. They're all separated in a loom so that uh, they're not bundled together and they cannot be, or they won't be uh, a possible bacteria harborage. So we'll come on around here. We try to utilize uh, space on the machine uh, as a rack. So anything that comes off of the machine, we wanna try to store it on the machine so that when we're uh, doing a sanitary wash down on the equipment, um, we, we have a place to store everything that comes off of the machine. So what we see here is we have a, a bin, a fines bin, that bin, is stored right here. Actually, it is stored right here. We have another funnel at the front of the machine that is stored right here, and you can wash those parts down uh, right here on the machine. Here we have the toolless removal of the spiral blades. This machine can hold one, two, or three spiral blades, and this is just a star wheel or a star knob. You do not require a tool to, to get that off. I think if uh, if we walk back here to the front of the machine, we I don't know if we showed the uh, the framework on the machine. It's all open channel. There's no welded uh, tube on the machine anymore. It's all open channel, and you can wash on both sides of the equip uh, of the uh, of the framework. So at this time, I think what we would like to do is go ahead and uh, run some product through the machine. We're going to be running some uh, chicken breast. Uh, through the machine. Again, the dimensions are going to be one inch. So we're getting ready to run some boneless, skinless chicken breasts through the Duracut 6000 two-dimensional dicer. And now would be a really good opportunity to tell you that this machine is running at a continuous uh, pace, and it's ideal for running a wide variety of products, not, no, not only uh, chicken breast, but you can also run beef, pork, turkey items um, through the machine as well. The belt is gonna run continuously and we can control that belt speed through this HMI. So we're gonna hit go here and we're gonna continue to load the machine. So the product that we can run through the machine, uh, temperature-wise, can be crust frozen, um, hard on the outside, soft in the middle, all the way up to cooked. Uh, when we when we run cooked product, that belt typically would change to a uh, a stainless steel mesh belt, and then we do some different uh, plastic material to handle that excess heat. But for most of the, the products that we're running in the market today, we're running this blue sawtooth belt with the, with the Kevlar core. This is a sawtooth belt to give us good grip. We also have a spike tooth belt uh, for some products that uh, require that lateral stability in the, while the product is in the cut window. We're loading this machine chaotically means we're just throwing the product on there. It, uh, it's, it's not oriented in any, uh, in any manner. You can also um, strip cut with this machine or you can slice cut with this machine. So once again, 
uh, the DuraCut shows its versatility, being able to do two-dimensional dicing or one-dimensional slicing or one-dimensional strip cutting. Let's see what came out the other. Okay, so we've uh, collected some product that we just ran through the uh, DuraCut 6000 two-dimensional dicer. And once again, we uh, were running boneless, skinless chicken breasts, jumbo. Uh, so those jumbo breasts can get kind of thick, maybe an inch and a half, inch and uh, three quarter natural height. Uh, the gang knife and the spiral knife on the DuraCut were set up for one inch by one inch. Once again, we can we can set the machine up to do a wide variety of dimensional cuts or dimensional dices, whatever your requirements call for, we, we can set it up. So let's just look at some of these, uh, these pieces here. Um, we have a one inch by one inch. Uh, this would be the natural height of the chicken breast. Let's look at another piece here. And once again, they can be pretty thick, but that's, that's your one inch by one inch by natural height. If you uh, have any uh, production throughput requirements that you would like to run by me, uh, all I need is the product that you're gonna be running and the method with which the product is gonna be coming to the machine. And of course your die size with those components or with those numbers, I can calculate what your throughput uh, is going to be on the Direct Cut 6000. Thank you for coming to the virtual trade show here at Marlin. We appreciate your business.